Well, we screwed up. We screwed up big time. And the thing is so fogged up. I, so fogged up. I don't even want to, like, I'm not even going to do anything about it. I'm so mad. You're probably, you're asking yourself, yourself what I did or what. It's 9 o'clock. My our, well, this dingus didn't set an alarm. Oh, whoa, no, whoa. No. I didn't because you said that no, you did. No, that's not I true would, at all. I did not set an alarm. Yeah, you, well, you didn't. You're blaming this on me now. You set an alarm. It just wasn't loud. Yeah, but I'm just saying you didn't set an alarm. And you no, went to I sleep didn't. before me. Yeah, so because that, I assumed that one alarm would be good. Like it always Well, how do you is. know? What if I didn't set my alarm? You didn't I tell me anything. You. You're right. I shouldn't have trusted you because now we're driving to St. Clair at 9 a.m. No, it's not, it's not about that. It's about you literally didn't want to get up this morning. No, he's I didn't. Not a, he's not a grinder. Oh, my God. Went to sleep. Didn't even... Anyways. We literally have now one hour to fish St. Clair. Because I have a flight out of Detroit at 2 o'clock. It's 45 minutes from here. I have to get there at 1230. Not yet. It's at one, the flight is at 150. So I have to get there at least by 1250. So we have to leave by 12. It is 915. We have an hour and a half to fish St. Clair. We're not going to let this like little hiccup. The alarm went off for two hours this morning. No, oh, no, no. I set my alarm for 530. So what time is it? Nine o'clock. It went off for three and a half hours. Is that right? I don't know. I can't do math right now. I, it was on like a. It wasn't loud enough, but it woke me up at 8:30. But it wasn't loud enough where it didn't get me up before 5:30 when we needed to get out there so we could fish all the way until noon. So we could have a full half day of fishing if that makes any sense. I'm so pissed. I'm so pissed. It may, it just makes me look like a tar. We drove. I took a. I. I came all the way up here to fish St. Clair, and now we're fishing St. Clair for an hour. You know how dumb this looks? Yeah. It looks yeah, but you... Okay, well, you can't throw me under the bus. Oh, I'm throwing you under the bus. No, there's no bus throwing. Yeah, I distinctly remember you saying I set an alarm. No. No, that was when before I had one. I was like, I was like, Chris, did you set an alarm? Because I saw you roll over, and you were like, nah, we're good. We are in the water. We're launched. And now Chris decides, oh, hey, I forgot to fill the tank up also this morning. God. My hair is looking fly right now. We've made it to the first spot. I just realized I forgot my chesty in the car and it's about a 20 minute run that way. So that's just good. Set the GoPro up on this little mount right here, I guess. It's having a wonderful day so far, as you can tell. But we still have a chance to catch some smallmouth. My God, we found a smallmouth on St. Clair in an hour. We should get an award just for that. Money. Probably about two and a half. That's that's the prettiest fish I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> I was supposed to catch you at 6 a.m. <laughs> Well, folks, that's all you get to see is St. Clair. You get to see Chris catch a smallmouth. One hour. That was all we had. My hair right now is an accurate description of how this weekend just, just went unruly, wild, everywhere. Okay, so you're telling them they're your story, no, and I'm you won't get my. Okay, well. No. That's not gonna make it in the vlog. Uh, I don't think so. All right, I'll talk to you later. All right, Chris is leaving. I'm at the airport now. Um, this was. I came to St. Clair. Didn't even end up catching a smallmouth. Chris has got. The, the thing was, I never even booked a return flight until like yesterday because. 
Chris was kind of up in the air of what he had to do with school, and now he has to go to work tonight, and he has class on Monday, so I could have stayed, but there wasn't much we could have done. So now I'm going, I'm going to Kentucky now for a day. I'm going to go see, you guys probably know who I'm going to go see. I'm going to Charlotte. Is the camera on? Yeah. Are you filming you? Yeah, me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just went through security. Had to be the weirdest experience I've ever gone through in Detroit airport. I literally got like, you know where I'm going with this, and it was it was weird. I'm, I'm glad I'm out of there. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, we have to go back through Charlotte. So this is my uh, third time in Charlotte this week, and then then we go to Kentucky. So I go from Detroit to Charlotte, and then back to Kentucky, and then to Bama tomorrow. So yeah, go back to Charlotte. My flight's boarding now. I'm just now getting off the flight. I legit like got off that plane and then just walked across the street and now I'm getting on this plane. This is like What's going on? It's like my own private charter right here. Oh. Hi, how are you? Alright, so I made it to the University of Kentucky. This morning was such a mess. Like, the alarm didn't go off. We didn't, this whole trip was the biggest mess I have ever encountered. I'm not going to say it was a waste because I had a blast seeing Chris and exploring Michigan and I fished St. Clair before, that wasn't my first time. Next trip I'm going to have to do a little bit more planning. So now I'm going to go try and find uh, Morgan, I don't know where she is but I got to go do that. And then I think I'm going to pop the drone up. See I won't put you in it. Alright I just cleaned myself up here. I'm looking hella fly right? You don't want to say anything? Well, are we doing anything fun tonight? Are we going to get food? Already ate food. So we're not getting tacos? <laughs> Tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah, I already ate and so I have homework to do. So we're doing nothing fun tonight? No. <laughs> okay, so I just saw Morgan. She didn't want to be in the vlog for today. And she had a sorority meeting. So I've got about an hour to explore the University of Kentucky. I haven't edited my vlog for today. I haven't done anything, but I think I'm gonna explore the university. I've got the drone with me. I've got the big camera. And I'm just gonna start walking. I don't know if I'm gonna see anything interesting. I know that I'm gonna get some dope drone shots because I always get those dope drone shots. So cue some dope drone shots and anything else cool I find on the University of Kentucky right about now. All right, so I just got done filming that little shoot. This guy, he's a fan here, and he picked me up. We actually shot that sh that uh, awesome drone shots above Kentucky. I appreciate it, Trey. All right, I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna go get some food. Where, where do you fish around? Kentucky uh, Lake? Yeah, Kentucky Lake. This guy's a G. He literally picked me off off the side of the road and drove me to the campus. I'll see you later, bud. See you later. Exploring, exploring Kentucky one, uh, one random car ride at a time. I just got done eating. That was kind of cool, so I was walking, I had no clue where I was going. I was trying to get a drone shot of the stadium because I feel like that's like the main thing at the University of Kentucky. Dude picked me up, super nice guy. Nice to meet you, buddy. Anyways, people are probably like, why the heck are you in Kentucky? Well, why am I in Kentucky? Well, you obviously know that, I don't know how to put this. Like, my life in these vlogs, I don't really hide anything. It's all there. There's no personal, like, my life, everybody knows about my life now. It's not like I can like hide it, like, I don't know. It's kind of weird. I don't know where I'm going with this. I guess what I'm trying to say is that we aren't dating, we're friends, and I'm just visiting her. 
and I have to explain this because this is my personal life and I make a video every day of exciting things. So yeah, that's that. Morgan and I are just friends. She'll be in the vlog tomorrow, obviously, when I convince her to be in the vlog because she didn't want to be in the vlog today. She supports it. She just doesn't want to be in it. Like, there's a difference between not supporting it. Anyways, thanks again for watching AP Bassin. I'm going to get to editing, get some actual homework done so I don't have to do any homework this week because I have an insanely busy week. Today is Sunday. Monday starts the work day, but every day is a work day, right? We'll catch you guys tomorrow on another exciting episode. Um.